Good everyone. I get a lot of requests to resurrect the Chime amp, the 1 watt guitar amp. Um, and the reason why I haven't so far is because that TDA 7052A chip, the amplifier chip, is, is quite scarce because it became obsolete a couple of years ago. I stocked up on those, but I've, I've sold out of those chips. I've only actually got about eight left, which I'm going to keep for myself. Um, so they're becoming hard to get. You can get them, I think there's a, maybe one reliable seller, but they're about $5 each. So it's becoming a bit of an expensive chip. So I had a look on eBay and all of a sudden there's been a flood of TDA 7052As come on eBay. Um, now eBay is a really bad place to buy chips from. Um, I'll just tell you straight up whether it be a TDA or anything. Um, you have to be careful um, and you have to sort of test what you get to make sure that it actually is a legitimate chip. Otherwise you might think that there's something wrong with your circuit when there actually isn't. It's actually the chip that's fake. Um, so the 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 the, the the chips that are obsolete now are the ones that you need to be careful of. If it's in production, you should be okay, but the ones that are obsolete are the ones that um, there's money in it for, for, um, for fakers um, and uh, for forgers or whatever you want to call them. Um, so let's have a look at these TDA 7052A chips because there's a couple of things. I suspected they were fake before I even, I even saw them. I haven't even tested these, so maybe they're not fake. But I tell you what, it's very much pointing to the fake side of things. And I just wanted to show you why I think these are fake. Unfortunately, it's not going to be an easy test for me to test these chips because my Chime amp doesn't have a socket for some stupid reason. I didn't put a socket in, so it's a bit more difficult for me to pull the chip out and stick another one in. But if I build another Chime amp, which I probably will do to test these chips or other chips that I'm going to try and get, uh, I will update, I'll leave a comment on this video to say yes they were or no they weren't. But I tell you what, when you see the evidence down here, you'll probably agree with me that they're, that they're definitely going to be definitely going to be fake. eBay is swarmed with fakes, um, so you, you need to be pretty skeptical um, when you when you order chips from, from eBay and have some way of testing them as well. So anyway, let's, let's take a look at these TDA chips. Now this is about the best magnification I've got for showing you these chips, um, the macro through the magnifying glass. Now, which one do you think is fake? Taking a look at them, it's probably become obvious when I flipped it over there. You would think the one on this one here is fake just because of the, the labeling on the top doesn't look quite as, as legit as the one on the right. But if you take a look at it from different angles, there's a few things that are tipping me off that these are fake. Firstly, the bottom. Have a look at that. that when do manufacturers release chips that have just stuff all over them? There was five chips. This was the only chip that I received that had the crud on the bottom. Um, and um, it's pretty bad. I mean, I, as when I saw that, I, I was kind of, you know, I, I was kind of gave up when I, as soon as I saw that, I thought, oh, okay, they're fake. Um, but there's one other thing that's also tipped me off that they're fake as well. If you look at the side, um, these pins, um, you can see, you hopefully be able to see through the, through the camera. One of them has a very even finish, um, even shine to it, whereas the other one is kind of got a more silver color and it's a bit blobby. That's because they re remove these chips from um, old circuit boards, um, uh, old throwaway circuit boards. They, 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 they pull all the chips out of the boards, believe it or not, they go to that much trouble. And they pull all the chips out um, so that they can't get that solder off, so they just flatten it out with the soldering iron um, and um, gives it that look. Um, so if you've got them that have that look, it's highly likely that they're going to be that they're going to be pulled out of um, other component, uh, other um, old boards. I mean, look at that. Uh, look at that one on the on the right there. Look at all that stuff on the bottom. Also on the side here, um, take into account that these get sanded, sanded down. They sand down the top of the of the um, of the chip. So if you see any like on on this one, you can see you might be able to see there's a bit of white sort of material, sort of sand um, dust. Looks like it's dusty. Whoops, just flicked it. Looks like it's dusty there. Um, that's making me think that they've probably sand the top down, um, and they just can't get rid of all that dust, or they usually don't get rid of all that dust. They might now, when, if they if they watch this video, um, but often they have dust all over them, um, and you can wipe it off um, with your finger. Um, so that's a couple of um, things to look out for. That you see this a lot. These these shiny legs. Um, yep. Yeah, the, they don't come out of a factory like that. I mean, I don't. Have, I don't think I've ever seen them come out of a factory, you know, out of a out of a you know from a reliable source, authentic, and um, and out of a tube. And they've got all this stuff all over them. It just doesn't happen. 
and um, they come out like this you know that's what the leads should look like um, uh, you know there, there may be some exceptions to that but, but I don't know also you might get ones where they've actually relabeled the top but it is a legitimate chip um, I, I've heard that that can happen too I don't know why the hell they'd want to do that just to uniform all the labeling or something I don't know but if you're starting to see these signs and it's a good chance you've got a fake um, <clears throat> a fake on your hands um, but see that see the laser the laser etching on the top is becoming pretty pretty convincing look at that you know it's got sort of brown look on it also one other thing I noticed with the laser etching on this one see if I can zoom in you've got to get really close for this but I'll see if I can show you there's like these little holes um, scattered all around where the, where the, where it's been lasered hang on I'm out of focus you might be able to see there little 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 uh, like in the symbol uh, just under TDA there's a few little dots and things there I wonder if that's to do with their lasering their etching machine has just gone a little bit heavy in a, in a couple of little spots. You can see there's a, all the chips are the same in that one spot. There's some um, there's these there's these two big holes. You can see it there as I move it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know the, the laser machine's gone a little bit heavy in that in that on that logo for some reason. But um, but there you go. I thought I'd just um, bring it up um, because I know you guys are probably going to talk about this um, in the comments section as well. This sort of stuff really gets under my under my skin, you know. I mean, for us, it's just a bit of. Sorry, you can really see how badly my nails look. <laughs> look at that, extreme close up. Uh, still, still, still struggling with not um, biting my nails. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, you know, it's for us, it's just a bit of an inconvenience, a bit of waste of money. But for others, um, you know, that in other industries where they rely on chips, you know, I mean, they probably wouldn't be using a lot. Would be using obsolete chips, but I mean, it can be in a life threatening situation where. The chip needs to be reliable. Look at the crud on the bottom there. I mean, that's pretty obvious. You also get sanding marks too. I've seen. Um, you can see sanding marks across the top as well. Um, in fact, you can almost see them there. I reckon it's difficult to tell. They sort of you can't really tell a hell of a lot there. But you get the sanding marks on the top and the bottom. They sand off both sides. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thought I'd just um, share that. Um, yeah, that video and sort of really topic really you know I was just wondering what you guys sort of think if you want to put your comments below any inter interesting links about fake chips or information for other people um, to sort of detect fake chips um, and some things to look out for I know the more that you read about this the more um, the more you know you can detect a chip when it comes in um, I know I'm finding um, uh, a lot more um, since been reading up on the topic Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So um, thanks for thanks for watching. Leave comments below. Um, any any um, suggestions, ideas, you know, opinions of this chip? Um, I think it's pretty f obvious that it's a fake. Um, and um, any interesting resources that you might have to help others um, detect these chips. We've got to kind of work together. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. And yeah, leave a comment below. Uh, like I said, um, opinion or whatever. And uh, I hope you found it um, interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. <clears throat>